cool, right? So let's see how we can use the Windows Terminal to manage our SSH servers. First thing, open the Microsoft Store and install Windows Terminal. And now we have to set up the SSH config file in order to connect to our server. So let's open our profile path. Under .ssh, create a new file called ssh underscore config. Here we write host, a name that we want to give to our server, host name, which is the address of our server, and user, which is the user we want to log in to. Let's save the file and close it. Now, if we open our terminal, we can see that if we simply type SSH Raspberry, we will automatically log in into our server. But what if my server requires me a public key authentication? You can see that this method doesn't work, so let's see how we can make it work. You can see here that I have my private key. I can simply use this key with our command. So we do ssh raspberry dash e and my private key. Now you can see that this works, but it's not as polished as I wanted. How we can make it even better? First, we need to enable the SSH agent. To do so, we need to open a terminal with the administration privileges. We search for terminal, right click and select run as administrator. Copy and paste this command that you can find in the video description. And now we have our SSH agent enabled. To start the agent, we simply write start service SSH agent. Now our agent is up and running. To add our key to the SSH agent, we write SSH add and we drag and drop our key on the terminal. And now our key is stored safely in our SSH agent. You can even delete our key from the folder. If we try to connect to our server even without specifying the private key, it should work. But there is another thing that we can do to make it even better. Create a new profile under settings and call it, in this case, Raspberry. Create in your .ssh folder a new file called ssh-raspberry.cmd. In this file, write the same command, ssh raspberry, and save it. Now, in our profile, we select under command line our .cmd file. We can even write a custom title to our profile and make some appearance adjustments like 80% background opacity and turn on uh, acrylic material. And now we have a custom profile called Raspberry that it will automatically connect to our server. If I have the Windows terminal in my taskbar, I can even right click it and open the Raspberry server. If this video was useful, please leave a like and subscribe. Bye!